Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. I have an interesting trick function to solve here. First thing to do is you notice the cosine 2x has two forms, cosine 2x, well actually three forms. Okay, minus sine squared here, also equal to 2 cosine x squared minus 1 and 1 minus 2 sine square x. Now since we were given sine here, the hint, uh, of course, we're going to be using this form. Otherwise, you have sine and cosine becomes a, becomes a very difficult to solve when you have a mixed functions. So let's get right to it. Let's write it into 1 plus 1 minus here twice of sine square x equal to twice of sine square x. We have 2 is equal to 4 sine square x divided by 2 on both sides. We have 1 over 2 equal to sine square x. From here, we have 2, so I have sine x is equal to 2 radical 2. Basically, radical 1 and a half is equal to radical 2 over 2, if you just rationalize it. Okay, the other half is sine x equal to minus radical over 2. Okay, so over here, we would say 10% of the problem is solved. Now, sine and cosine or any of the trig function are repetitive functions, so it's very important that you get all the uh, values in there unless your teacher asks specifically between 0 to 2 pi. One way to solve this one is draw a sine curve. Okay, I'm just drawing one period over here. This is y, this is x. Radical 2 over 2 is roughly 0.7. Okay, so radical 2 over 2. There's two angles here. Pi over 4. The other one, if you don't remember this one, don't panic on the test. Okay. This one is pi, so it's pi dis distance, pi over 4 dis distance away from pi. So this comes to be 3 pi over 4. So our two answers, of course, then it's x equal to pi over 4 plus 2 n pi, where n can be 0, 1, 2, and so on and so forth. Or x can be 3 pi over 4 plus 2 n pi. Okay, repeat. 0, 1, 2, and so on and so forth. Now, if this curve doesn't look familiar and you are more familiar or you prefer a unit circle, that's quite all right as well. Okay, so over, over here is our 45 degrees. Since sine angle is the y value, okay, so there's two values. One is over here, which is pi over 4. The other one is a little bigger. That's a uh, pi minus pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 4. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if you use the curve here or you use the unit circle, but the answer stays the same. Okay, so that's this half. Now let's go look, see what we do for the other half. Let's repeat our same process over here. I'm going to draw the sine curve first. Now we're down here in that radical 2 over 2 with a minus sign. It's in a the third and the fourth quadrant. Okay, so here is my pi plus pi over four. Remember, this is the pi. Okay, so I have to go pi over four units over. This one is just a two pi minus pi over four. So it's almost all the way to the circle, but not quite. So we have five pi over four, or um, seven pi over four. So let's write it. x equal to 5 pi over 4 for this side plus 2n pi, where n equal to 0, 1, 2, so on and so forth, or x equal to 7 pi over 4 plus 2n pi with the same repetition. Okay. Once again, you are more than welcome to use the unit circle as well. Since we're looking for sine, it's going to be on the y-axis. It's negative, so it's in quadrant 3 and 4. Okay, so here's one angle. Obviously, it's uh, our 5 pi over 4. Okay, the other one, the last one is you got to go all the way here and go over there. That's the 7 pi over 4. Okay, so let's do a quick review. Uh, when you have a cosine and sine mixed, you want to make sure they're in the same sine or cosine or whatever trig function you're working on. Make sure they're the same. That way, you can solve a quadratic equation. In our case, it happened to be a really simple one. Okay, once you find a sine x value, and uh, make sure you have the plus minus, because when you take radical roots, there's a plus and minus. Once you have that, you can either use the sine curve 
or a unit circle. It doesn't really matter, whichever one you prefer. This one gives you a better idea of what the angles are. This one, if you familiarize, you, you got to know this is pi, and the highest point is pi over 2, and it starts at 0. Okay, so solving for a positive value on this end, okay, solving negative value on this end. And unless your teacher asks specifically for quart, first quadrant, you need to repeat uh, giving the 2 and pi to make the solution complete. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.